For this project, you'll need some salt to with the paint already mixed in. If you don't know how to do that, select the video I've pasted here. There's also some neutral salt dough, a paper clip, or a sculpting tool, and some salt dough paste made from salt dough and a little bit of water. You'll also need some cloves. I've begun by creating the trunk and the top of the tree. Place this on parchment paper so you can slide it onto a cookie sheet when it's complete. Apply some salt dough paste and connect the tree with the larger portion above. Indent the trunk of the tree with your sculpting tool or with the open paper clip. Before we start to mold the leaves, let's place the paper clip into the top portion so we can attach a ribbon. And then take small balls of green dough and form them in a teardrop. And then you're going to take either the paper clip or the sculpting tool and make indentations into the leaves. Next, put some paste on the top portion of the tree and gently place the leaves down. I sped up the video so you can see how this looks. It's easier to place the leaves around the outside first and then place some leaves into the middle. Next, we're going to form the apples with small lumps of red dough. Roll the lumps of dough into circles, round balls, and place them on the tree. You can even tuck some under leaves so it has a three-dimensional effect. Now place some leaves in between the apples. Take the cloves Dip the ends into the paste and insert them into the end of the apple so it will look like the bottom of the apple core. Now add some apples around the outside of the tree. Make sure you gently lift the leaves with a sculpting tool or a paper clip. and finish them off with putting the cloves into the bottom of the apples. Here's the baking instructions. Now after the tree is firm and well baked, we're going to use some wood stain for the trunk and for the leaves, and we're going to use a clear glaze after the stain is dry. You're going to want to put the stain into the grooves on the trunk. I just use a regular water-based stain. Any color will work. 
The stain goes into the indentations of the leaves and it creates a wonderful, rich effect, kind of like an antiquing. After you've placed the stain on the apple tree, then take a paper towel or a Kleenex and gently blot and rub the excess stain off. Once it's dry, then spray it with a glaze. Put a ribbon in the top, and there you have your salt dough apple tree.